Stephen, yet again, a very professional performance from the guys. You must be so pleased with what they gave you today. Yeah, I thought we were excellent. I thought we were very clinical. Um, I thought the game started off pretty even. There really wasn't much in it, but I always felt from, from up in the stands when we regained the ball in interesting areas, we, we could go and hurt Motherwell. And it's what we'd worked on all week. And you know, credit to the lads, they went and executed our game plan uh, and our ideas very, very well today. Going and pressing the ball is something we've seen all season from the team and, and yet again today it's, it's resulted in a couple of goals. Yeah, well I think sometimes the opposition give you that opportunity by making mistakes um, and sometimes um, if we press right in the right areas at the right time and we're aggressive we can win it back in interesting areas as well and uh, when we do that if we keep bodies around their centre halves we can maybe cause an overload and the first goal was, was exactly what we've worked on uh, all week so was the third goal. Um, so yeah, very pleased. Uh, it's a good away, solid performance. Another clean sheet. Uh, I have to mention John Flanagan. Um, thought he was excellent again today. Um, having missed, missed so much football, so um, fair play to Flano. You spoke the other night about Scott getting into those advanced areas, and on all three occasions, the composure he showed was, was superb. Yeah, Scott's played this role for Burnley on many occasions. Uh, Scott's someone who can play deeper as, as an eight and, and can make the the play from deep and arrive um, with lung burst and runs or you can trust them to play uh, higher up the pitch, get around your nine and look on the bits because he's got the quality to either assist goals and score goals so I think that's double figures for Scott now and um, he needs to try and go and get a few more from now to the end of the season but he's been excellent and you know him and Jermaine uh, epitomise uh, what it should be like to be a professional footballer because the standards on and off the pitch are, are excellent. And credit to, to Jermaine for the third goal because he's very unselfish from. Yeah, I nearly passed out in the stands. That's not the Jermaine Defoe I know, um, but I think he's respected his teammate and um, gave him his hat trick. Uh, I'm sure Scotty would have done the same thing if the shoes were on the other feet. Um, so, yeah, excellent. It's Scotty Arfield's day, but um, I'm sure he'd recognise it was a fantastic team performance that, that helped him get his hat trick. How did you find the experience of watching from the stand today? Well, I don't want too many of them because you know I want to be down with me with me t- uh, team and staff, and I want to be on the side with the boys. Um, but it's worked okay. We got the communication. Myself and Mick Beale were, were in constant contact in terms of the, treating the team and, and the changes. Gary was obviously the leader from the side, um, but hopefully that's not going to be the case on too many occasions. And how does the next fortnight look for you before you go to Tain Castle? We'll give the players a couple of days now. Obviously, we've got a, uh, an awards night tonight that the players can go and enjoy. We'll give them a couple of down days and then we'll train hard Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, we'll, we'll have a, a bit of a relax over the weekend and then we, we'll go a very important week into hearts. And, you know, I'm looking for us to build on our last two performances. Um, last three, actually, because we were actually really good at Celtic. So if we keep this level of performance, hopefully we'll go and get many more points.